Boom. Well, <clears throat> once I get this camera figured out, I might figure out what makes me happy. <laughs> well, what makes me happy? Things that work. Okay, what makes me happy, really? It's an evolving thing. Happiness, uh, I remember somebody saying to me at one point that happiness is a point in time. It can't be held on to and saved. It can only be experienced. So I think acknowledging those times when happiness arrives gives us an ability to find a way to sustain it and know those things that do make us happy, whatever they may be. It's not always a, a constant. But there are certain things that pretty much guarantee bringing me a certain amount of happiness. Uh, one would be music, playing music, performing music, jamming with people and not really having a particular goal in mind and just allowing things to happen. It's a certain kind of freedom. Like road trips, they always make me happy. There's a certain amount of danger, I guess, anticipation and anxiety, but a thrill and a, a sense of freedom and openness to experiencing what life may be offering around the next corner. Sailing, very much the same thing, especially being out sailing by myself and feeling a slight anxiety underneath it, an awareness of my own mortality and how little power I have when it comes to me and the, the universe and Mother Nature. So I think bottom line, it's sort of, as I get older, finding my, more ways to be open to experience and letting go of, of old attachments and addictions and feeling free no matter what's going on it makes it easier to find a way to be happy and at least appreciate and understand more the times when you're not so there you go bye hello again didn't realize there was a part two well, there you go. What's uh, Are there obstacles to this happiness? Uh, yes, there certainly are. It seems to reside in my, my mind, making up stories and uh, projecting my issues onto other people and other experiences. So that and not really allowing myself to be vulnerable, to be honest, to want to maintain a certain identity, uh, to create a certain identity that I, I think may benefit me in some way, which leads to some form of manipulation that I don't like about myself. It doesn't feel like I have the integrity that I thought I had. <clears throat> so, it doesn't mean that I can escape uh, sadness and uh, melancholy and anger and all that if I can find a way to be happy all the time. Uh, but certainly I think I create more times when I'm not happy by not uh, being honest with myself and those people around me and uh, not really experiencing my friendships and relationships. Um, in a kind of depth that I know is uh, what behooves me and those around me. Uh, you know, if I can deal when it, the times happen, and thankfully they're more frequent now than they used to be, where I am more open and honest and, and vulnerable, um, I'm able to recognize those obstacles and deal with them head on instead of making them into a mountain, so to speak, out of the uh, mole, uh, the mole hill, and uh, having people in my life that are open to those conversations as well is very important to me. Um, so I think bottom line, uh, I am the obstacle, and uh, understanding my mind a little more fully, and my experiences and my uh, tendencies 
or reactivity uh, goes a long way in helping to deal with that. Bye again.